back to y'all. Got another review for y'all today. This is another Hills Farmstead beer. Of course, I've been on a little kick of theirs. This is their American uh, Imperial IPA. Not sure the ABV on here, but it's called a friend. There's a long story uh, where the name comes from. Obviously, someone in the family, great great grandfather. So I have no idea what hops were used to brew this. Um, what's going on as far as anything else in the can. Ah, I do got the ABV. 10% ABV on here, so this is a triple. So this is probably going to be something nice to lay me back. And I didn't know that they made triple. So this is going to be very interesting. And uh, I'm excited to see what I get out of here. Can is very simple, as always. Um, they don't put a lot of uh, artwork really into their cans. They keep them very simplistic. Um, their bottles, they might do something a little different depending on what it is. Uh, but as far as the the ones that are family member names, they keep it very simplistic. They'll just have the hourglass, excuse me, the wine glass. It looks like an hourglass on the outside. But uh, they keep it real simple as far as that. So without further ado, let's get to what's going on with this brew. 10%. Very, very interesting. So it's pouring beautifully. Very, very beautifully. Looks like a hazy, deep yellow golden color. Y'all can see that right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that head is just sitting in a nice white head. Okay, I like the aromas on here, very citrusy. A little bit of a hoppy note on there too. I'm just going to get into it. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Citrus for kind of juicy. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely does not drink like 10% at all. It's sweet, front end and back end, uh, smooth as hell. Kind of a dryness on the end that makes you want to keep drinking more so you got the juiciness up front and then a little bit of dryness so you just want to keep drinking more yo this this joint is extremely dangerous extremely yeah that citrus is is definitely hitting on there this is extremely interesting i haven't had too many triple ipas that drink as if they're a single you know what I mean? Like this is out of this world as far as that aspect. The way that they was able to put that together and make it feel as if you're drinking just a regular six or eight percent. I gotta respect them. This is very, very, very juicy. Uh I could say this. I've had a lot of IPAs, a lot of them, from other half to monkish to um uh health, excuse me, alchemist, uh just different different huge names, etc. And this is up there. As a matter of fact, it's so up there, it knocks out a couple. I ain't going to say no names, but it knocks out a few. Based upon the way that they was able to hide that 10%, based upon the way that it's drinking like it's not a 10%. That's just blowing my mind. And it's actually really, really good. It's not like, oh, since it's just drinking like 10%, I'm going to grade it very well. Nah, it's actually a very, very solid beer. I'm going to enjoy this one. And thank God I got two four packs of it. So... I can stress this out a little bit, but yo, this is getting two thumbs up. All over two thumbs up. I love the flavor profile. I love the juiciness. I love the way it is drinking so smoothly. It's just a very nice beer all around. I'm gonna take a little sip on that note. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at the can and saying it was double dry hop. Um definitely good. It's trying to tell you what you should taste on here resinous hop flavor mm. i get subtle resin or pine on there not you know not a lot this is just my palate somebody else could tell you something different that's me i get juicy i get a little bit dry on the back end um citrus and it's just very well put together i'm really really enjoying this and like i said i'm glad i have two four packs because i'm gonna hold on to these and you know they say drink these joints fresh if it gets old, I don't give a damn. I'm still going to drink it. It's probably going to still be fire two months from now. But anyways, y'all, thank you for stopping by and supporting as always. Um, 
I hope everybody's been out there staying safe and healthy. Cheers, everybody, drinking good beer. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see y'all next time as usual. Stay safe, be healthy. Peace.